Whoa. Oh my God. Look at the top here. And look at this. Uh, uh, uh. Hello everybody, here's Martin, your personal water sommelier. I bought myself a water electrolyzer. And supposedly, this device showcases if your bottle of water is safe to consume or not. So let's check that out together. Let's start with Liquid Death with a three base from Australia. What is happening here? So this is what this bottled water looks like after two minutes in contact with this device. This is Liquid Death. Look at this. My God, huh? And this is three base from Australia. Oh my God, look at the top here. Next, two sparkling waters. Evio sparkling versus Vichy Catalan sparkling. You can tell right away here in the Vichy, it's reacting way stronger. The same with three base, it reacted way stronger on this side. Whoa. So this is Evio sparkling and you see clearly the discolor here and there are some floaters even in here. And this is Vichy Catalan. It's super warm as well, you can see it. And look at this. And last but not least, our third experiment, alley tap water to arrowhead, but the distilled water, not the spring water. So in my tap water right away, you can see it's reacting. And in the distilled water, it's not reacting whatsoever. LA tap and arrowhead distilled. I don't know. So after roughly two minutes, this is the result. This is your LA tap water. And you can clearly see again, there's a stuff floating in there versus this is now the distilled water from Arrowhead, completely clean, no reaction whatsoever. So what is actually happening here? This device, the water electrolyzer, is mostly used by people who want to sell you something, mostly purification or distilled water systems for your home use. So they're using the scare marketing tactic. They're putting this machine into the glass of water and you saw it in my example and water turns disgusting. What they don't want to tell you, it will not tell you if the water is bad or good. It actually just reacts to minerals, to healthy minerals, what your body wants. And to showcase this and to fact check this, I will do a fourth experiment with you. So in this experiment, we're gonna pour the distilled water in both glasses. Here we go, here we go. Now let's make it a little bit higher. Voila, we're gonna turn on the device and let's see if something is happening. Both glasses should be completely clear. So the device is running for like around two minutes now and you see both glasses are completely clear. I will put this here on the side that you can actually see with on the white spot here. Looks completely clear to me. So now the question is, when I would put minerals to water, this device will actually turn that water into this terrible color, what we saw. And I have here sea salt. This is what minerals are actually are. They are salts, magnesium, calcium, potassium, all these extremely healthy minerals, what your body actually needs. So let's see, when I'm adding salt now to one of the glasses, if this is turning brown. It's reacting right away. And I will not stop the camera right now because I want to make sure that everybody sees this. Huh? It's right there. So I think through this little experiment, I just debunked the claims of these people who want to scare you. So this device just showcases impurities. Impurities does not mean it's bad. And that is very, very important to know. Water should not be pure. Water always has minerals and electrolytes to dissolve what is essential for our life being. So on bottled water, what is safe to consume and the higher the mineral content goes, the stronger will turn this device, the water, into this very weird color. That's all what that is, guys. So you don't have to worry. You can drink your bottled water. You can drink your filter tap water. And 
Distilled water, like here from Arrowhead, is great for small appliances. For example, your car battery. Cheers, my friends, and remember, water is not just water.